Recently, Sinook announced that Asia's first cylindrical offshore oil and gas processing plant, independently designed and built by China, Haikuei No. 1, was completed in Qingdao, Shandong. This marks a major breakthrough in key technologies for the independent construction of deepwater oil and gas equipment in China. In this video, let us learn more about it. Asia's first cylindrical offshore oil and gas processing plant FPSO is an offshore oil and gas processing plant that integrates crude oil production, storage, export, and other functions. It is mainly composed of upper modules and lower hull. The upper module is responsible for processing oil and gas, which is equivalent to the production line of a factory. The hull is mainly responsible for storing and processing qualified crude oil and is the warehouse of the oil and gas processing plant. Due to its high degree of integration, high technical requirements, and difficulty in construction, FPSO is known as the crown pearl in the field of offshore engineering. Viewed from a distance, the red and blue cylindrical hull of Haikuei No. 1, with its top densely covered with various equipment pipelines, looks like a sunflower blooming in the sea when viewed from the air. Soon, this steel sunflower will head to the South China Sea to explore the mysteries deep under the sea. So why is High Anemone No. 1 designed in a cylindrical shape? One is for symmetry and the other is for stability. The FPSOs that have been in service in China's offshore oil fields before are all familiar ship structures. It is fixed at sea through a single point mooring system and adjusts the direction of the hole with wind and waves. The Haikuei No. 1 delivered this time has a cylindrical geometric axis symmetric structure, which is less sensitive to wind and wave currents in all directions and can better adapt to the deep water environment. With a smaller size, more compact space, and less steel consumption, the oil storage efficiency can be significantly improved. It can reduce oilfield development and operation costs and effectively improve economic applicability. Haikuei No. 1 is equipped with functional modules of different sizes and shapes. They are the core devices of the facility and undertake different tasks such as oil and gas processing, living and office, etc. The total weight of the upper module is nearly 9,000 tons, which is divided into five modules, process, power, electrical, living building, and public systems. It is highly integrated with more than 700 key equipment, and the total cable length can go around Beijing's Fifth Ring Road more than five times. Through a series of technical research, about 90% of these equipment are independently designed and manufactured by China. As the first cylindrical offshore oil and gas processing plant used in Asian waters, Haikuei No. 1 has set a number of records in the offshore equipment construction industry. According to reports, the maximum diameter of Haikuei No. 1 is about 90 meters, and its height is equivalent to nearly 30 stories. It consists of nearly 600,000 parts. Designed according to the working conditions of a super typhoon that occurs once in 100 years, the design displacement is 100,000 tons and the maximum oil storage capacity is 60,000 tons. Due to the complex production process and high degree of integration of equipment and facilities, engineering construction poses great challenges. With a total weight of nearly 37,000 tons, 15 key technologies and equipment have been independently applied. More than 50 types of work and 2,100 people completed the installation of nearly 600,000 parts and more than 8,500 sets of equipment. The total length of the weld is 400,000 meters, equivalent to the length of nearly 10 full marathons. 
The total length of the umbilical cable is 507,000 meters, which can go around Beijing's Fifth Ring Road more than five times. Haikuei No. 1 has a design life of 30 years and can operate continuously at sea for 15 years without returning to dock. Due to the complex production process and high degree of integration of equipment and facilities, it poses a great challenge to the design and construction technical capabilities. The project team overcame a series of technical problems such as integrated system design of cylindrical floating production equipment, high-precision construction integration, and full-process digital debugging. The construction period was nearly 50% shorter than that of similar international equipment, and it achieved over 8 million working hours with zero accidents. The quality pass rate of the first delivery exceeds 99.8%, and the structural integration accuracy is controlled within 4 mm. As the mainstream production device for global deepwater offshore oil and gas development, the floating production, storage and offloading device is a high-end offshore engineering equipment that integrates crude oil production, storage, export and other functions. In recent years, China has successively completed a number of deepwater floating production and storage projects such as the world's largest tonnage FPSO Brazil P-67 and P-70 sister ships, China's largest operating depth FPSO Offshore Oil 119 and the first intelligent FPSO Offshore Oil 123. Oil unloading equipment and large-scale deepwater oil and gas equipment manufacturing capabilities have achieved comprehensive breakthroughs. It is understood that Haikuei No. 1 can process about 5,600 tons of crude oil per day. After delivery, it will be towed to deep sea with a water depth of 324 meters for connection. It and Asia's first deepwater jacket platform, Haiji No. 2, jointly serve in China's first deepwater oil field, Luhua 11-1 oil field, innovatively forming the first domestic deepwater jacket platform plus cylindrical FPSO, a development model. In the future, it will provide new solutions for the efficient development of China's deepwater oil and gas fields. Haikuei No. 1 is the world's first digital, cylindrical FPSO that integrates multiple systems such as an integrated ocean monitoring system, a data integration platform, and a mechanical equipment health management system. It can realize real-time monitoring, dynamic management, and timely maintenance of various data during the service period. It provides Chinese solutions to solve world-class ocean engineering problems such as frequent typhoons, internal wave currents and huge waves in the South China Sea. This is China's first fully independent design and construction of a cylindrical FPSO, with a water depth of over 300 meters, achieving a leap from shallow water to deep water. Haikuei No. 1 has realized the independent application of 15 key technologies and equipment, including the Sea Land Integrated Intelligent Central Control System, the Natural Gas Twin Tower Process Desulfurization System, and the Large Capacity Hydraulic Submersible Pump. It also uses new natural gas desulfurization devices and dual fuel generators on China's domestic offshore platforms to utilize oil field associated gas to improve the green and energy saving level of offshore oil fields. The project team overcame a number of world class technical problems and efficiently completed the final assembly in only 24 months. Not only has it reached the world's advanced level in terms of construction speed and project quality, but it has also greatly improved the level of localization and digital intelligence. As the reliability and technical level of deepwater equipment improve, 
more deep water oil and gas resources that were previously difficult to exploit are being included in development plans. In the future, energy companies will rely on the established offshore energy hubs and more complete submarine natural gas pipeline networks, as well as more advanced deep water equipment, to continue to increase the development of deep sea oil and gas resources and ensure China's national energy security. It is worth mentioning that Haikuei No. 1 is not only Asia's first cylindrical FPSO, but also the first such device to be used in Asian waters. Its successful construction and application will bring huge economic benefits to the Luhua oilfield at the mouth of the Pearl River, and will also open a new chapter in China's marine resource development. Standing on the deck of Hai Kwai No. 1 and looking at the rough sea, we can't help but feel proud of the completion of this great project. It is not only the pinnacle of China's marine engineering technology, but also an important support for China's maritime power strategy. With the putting into use of Haikuei No. 1, we believe that China's marine resource development will usher in a more brilliant future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.